Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today I'm going to do a species profile on the Cryptoheros spilorus. Cryptoheros spilorus, first described by Gunford in 1862. The type species come from Guatemala and it was first introduced into the hobby in the mid 60s. They have a large black blotch on the tail. They have blue eyes, a grey body with seven or eight black vertical bars. They're sometimes called the blue-eyed cichlid or the jade eye cichlid. It was quite funny, a friend of mine from the Yorkshire cichlid um, group misheard me one day and instead of um, thinking I said jade eye, he thought I said jedi, so they were forever known as the Star Wars cichlid. You actually get different coloured morphs of these appearing in the wild. In North Guatemala, they tend to have red on the head. In Southern Belize, they have a yellow head. And in Southern Mexico, they're just grey. The pH that they prefer is between 7 and 8. Um, and the temperature range is round about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The males get to about 5 inches and the females get to about 4 inches. They are an armivore species, so they take all the normal uh, aquarium foods um, and live foods. Um, they're also they're in between a cave spawner and an open spawner, so sometimes they will lay their eggs on the rocks and sometimes it's inside the cave. They tend to have between two and 300 uh, eggs depending on the size of the parents. They prefer shallow areas with clear water with a sandy or rocky substrate um, and they do prefer some cover so in the wild you see them uh, in areas like streams that's got a lot lots of vegetation on the side the breeding season in the wild it corresponds with the dry season in Central America which is between December and May and um, so the most active round about March but depending on the weather they can carry on spawning right through to October Females have slightly coloured bodies and they have a spot in the dorsal so they are quite easy to sex once they get to size. The ones that I've got, I've got two pairs um, which um, they're only juveniles at the moment so they're not showing much colour. I've had them in the fish room for a couple of weeks now so they're in a tank just by themselves while they grow on a little bit. In 2007 when Smitter and Soto split the Cryptoheros group. They actually also split the, um, the Spilleris group, so you've now got two types. It's the, the Chuchu Malinensis and the Spilleris. The Chuchu Malinensis, it was first caught, it's believed, in 2006, and sometimes it's sold uh, in, in the hobby as the Redfin Spilleris. Um, they are a different species, uh, and when they're when they're breeding, they do look completely different uh, when they're in the breeding dress. So, the Spilleris, it's a species that I've kept um, for quite a while. Um, so, round about ten years ago, I, I had a breeding pair, and yet um, did, yeah, did manage to produce quite a lot. So, so here's a picture of uh, of the breeding pair that I used to have. I haven't got any uh, video, unfortunately. Um, they didn't have mobile phones back in the early 90s. Um, but as you can see, when they're in breeding dress, um, they lose any colour that they have. Uh, and the, the vertical stripes actually come really prominent. The Cryptoheros and the Amatelania species are probably... Um, my favourite from Central America and um, because they don't get too big they, they only get up to the, the males about five inches uh, on just about all the species really but they do show the same behaviour of the larger species um, and they have a really interesting colour change when they're breeding and um, so in the fish room at the moment I've got quite a few uh, different species so obviously I've got the, the Spilleris, I've got the, the Amatelania Minorite, the um, the Cryptoheros Cutteri. Uh, I've also got um, the Amatelania, the Autofluvi, uh, and 
the uh, Amatelania sejaica. So I have got quite a few different species at the moment, uh, just waiting for them all to grow on really, and then I can set them up properly in the aquariums and actually um, actually get them all breeding properly. So the Cryptohero spilurus, it is a species that I would recommend um, to anyone, particularly those uh, just looking to get into Central American cichlids. And if anybody knows where they can get hold of the uh, the Chukuyu Malinensis, please let me know. I'd love to add them to the collection and uh, work with those and try and get those breeding. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video interesting. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.